Can you hear that? That's the sound of and also the sound of another mega campaign this time in the world of 2023 we have of course brought italy into a huge powerhouse they own all of italy they own croatia they do own scotland and this piece of belgium the big players the ones that we are interested in definitely not the white horde hungary is pretty strong we did get a balkanized byzantium and we might see one of these france's form especially because in this mega campaign i do not play with the sunset invasion mod because that thing just meant that nobody would declare war on anybody as always when you play crusader kings you get blessed with skittles sweden's actually pretty strong denmark is a junior partner of sweden which i'm sure makes some of you very happy we do have femboyism in pretty much everywhere let me just quickly validate this okay so we have one centimeter here and that's everything yep sounds good to me Tahert is actually pretty strong because they own Guinea. With mega campaigns, it is a little bit boring if you just play the same nation. For this mega campaign rule set, we are going to ally the nations that we formed in the previous games, and together we are going to end seek in Hearts of Iron until 1962, whenever this game ends. We are legitimately going for a world conquest, even if I will have to spend 50 hours in Hearts of Iron 4 and I will regret that I said this. I thought about this before, I've also played this before, but I think we are just going to start as the great, or as it's known in our timeline, 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 as Jok, the Jingdom of Jerusalem. And we are in a perfect economical start, nobody is here to threaten us at all. And there's certainly not big enemies around us. Uh, yeah, it's a perfect start. A state setup. Hello, horse. Have you met my friend, the ocean? We sway the Pope by increasing our development by 10, which is not that much. Maria and then probably those islands. Okay, interesting. Although I would really like to ally. <laughs> If possible, like they are a pretty strong player near us. If we take a look at our possible friends, there is not that much that we can pick. Bulgaria is also a pretty good player. We're gonna have to try and ally the Seljuks. Let's put you on hostile and let's put you on friendly. We can't do that yet. I would like to conquer Tripoli relatively soon. I will refrain from using rivals for now, at least on Tripoli. Meso... Meso is pretty good to rival as well. They should also threaten the Seljuks. Economy, because that thing's not gonna stay in the green forever. Insult. Scornful. Get our PP up. Uh oh. Egypt claimed something. <laughs> With that, we have claims on Aleppo and Palestine. Okay, I not be smart, but I will attack. Okay, let's do something funky here. You're not getting locked in. There we go. Took you long enough. I could probably vassalize you. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Vassal, we're gonna force a religion on you. Femboyism has expanded. And then we can also just take everything from you. They're also gonna royal marry you. And then we can ally Bulgaria. And we could claim the throne of the, 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 the. the Seljuks declared war in Egypt. Ooh, God, there's just too much to do right now. Oh, they would be down to transfer trade power. What the fuck? Are we that strong? Let's also get some favors from Bulgaria. Let's just make a spy network to make sieging easier. And now we can go in because they're in the battle here right now. So we are just free to capture whatever we desire help everything is burning should have just peaced out when i had the chance i'm gonna peace out now let's go for curtailing noble privileges what's our best choice of idea group i really like admin here oh we are now present on two continents i'm a cock again it just follows me into the game itself fuck you bulgaria why do i call my allies in they just want my land i'm gonna try this to send bulgaria down here send my vassal up here Aha! No! I guess that's all I can do. God damn it. It cost me 10 favors. Gold vassal and religion. God! 
<laughs> you cut this guy up. Are we still allied? Ah, but you can become a vassal of mine now. Proclaim guarantee and such, you know. Okay, very nice. Not possible to send gifts due to point. And then vassalize you. Give me these things and return course to my new friend. The fanboy religion is growing. Just look at this. Anatolia is ours. Because we have vassals now, I can also just get strong duchies. Gold! Ducats. That didn't help at all. Oh, actually, I can offer you Milexes. Haha! Didn't even have to send you anything. <laughs> I just annexed them! <laughs> I thought because of the event, maybe I would get them as a puppet, but I just annexed them. Nice. Sorry, Mr. Kaiser. Oh, you're from Swabia. Ich nix Persönliches. Did somebody say Kehrwoche? What the f- In what kind of world war are you? Oh, uh, okay, they were in the trade league with Ilkana. That's why I'm not getting paid enough for this. I'm not getting paid for this at all. If I were to annex everything, just Greater Tasso and Chaldea, which I don't care. Okay, that explains a little bit. That doesn't explain how you got here, but that at least explains all of the wars that you're in. And let's start improving your relations and then we can start annexing you. You've not converted anything, even though I told you to. Ugh, sure, let's just annex you then. Wait, it's also all part of Greater Tasso. Oh my god, they are huge. But Bulgaria is at least teaching out their capital, so we're gonna get war score. And I'll just have to sack all of my men for the war. Oh my god, we are dealing damage, but things are starting to get risky. <laughs> Konya. Konya sucked my nuts. Bulgaria, why are you inting? I think I'm fine with that. And I can also say goodbye to this fort. Do I want to annex everything? Yeah. Let's annex everything. Yes, we can vassalize you now. Oh my god. You have the brownest neutral brown that there is. Oh god, Bulgaria. Where did my friend Bulgaria go? That's what you get for occupying this one province. If we had colonies, then, you know, Vicky too could be very fun. Because then we can play as a colony. Honestly, let's just go for Explo. Would you like to become femboyish? Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, I hope I won't regret this. That's actually pretty good. Creed is offering us knowledge sharing. Very much appreciated. Let's just build a few more corks. I like corks. We could become the defender of the faith. Sure. We have to convert a lot, so that is pretty worth it. Honestly, I'm gonna drop my ships in Creed. That's the safest spot. And then just call the Seljuks in. I hope they're gonna do something. Tesla should be decently out of position. Ah! Burning! Everything! Fire everywhere! Also, I forgot about my claims that I wanted to do, but it's fine. Oh, that's Byzantium. A tribal empire. Mm. I wish I lived in more enlightened times, man. That's the second comet we've seen. Bulgaria wants an alliance, but do I want a Bulgarian alliance? Oh, no, no, no. I want a different kind of alliance. An Italian alliance. Now the Fembo Union cannot be stopped. I shall also demand curry from you. I think it's time for a very chill war because I'm just gonna let these guys handle Georgia as well as my Anatolian stuff and I'm just gonna focus on Egypt. Oh, the Seljuks, they are getting weaker and weaker. I'm very sad to see that. Thank you very much. We're getting blockaded and Italy is just sitting there with their 80 ships. Oh, Osa, that's the country from, from Hoi 4. Ah, oh, it's so crazy. I can't believe they added that in EU4. We don't have manpower anymore. Okay, let's end the war then. Macedonia, Thrace, Northern Greece and Hulfagun. That's useless. That's at least a little bit useful. Not useful, but a little bit at least, you know. I wouldn't ask Ahmed's mosque out on a date, but I wouldn't say no. But to that? No. Why? Oh, you are... Mm, what have you done? Nine, nine, nine. It is called a LARPing. You wouldn't get it. Please don't explode, Italy. This, is, for being an OPM, is being a little bit of a prick here. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of... A bit, little bit. Bleh. A lot of bit. You could even say a bite. Get <laughs> it. It's a program of ch Europa Universalis. Europa Universalis. I'll be here for the next 30 hours, don't you worry, because I'm playing EU4. Yeah, we are a great power now, nice. Though, I don't really feel that confident in it. Sixth great power? Yeah, okay, just because we got institutions. Our country looks so scuffed. We have a bit of stuff here, we have a bit of stuff here, and then we have a bit of stuff here. And then also our colonies. No time like the present. And now we can declare war on you, my old friend, and Hungary will not join you. Oh, that's why they reformed into Georgia. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Stalemate in France, nothing has happened. Sweden has grown a little bit. Seljuks lose Keta. We're gonna annul all treaties with the Seljuks. Okay. But you're still on the war with me. Uh -huh. Oh, Chagatai is growing though. Against Tahert. 
Ooh. Oh, the Zelt. I should have read the fine print. I guess somebody's back for some revenge. We should have much better army tech. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Boys, run. Meso is also in here. And I don't know if Italy is gonna do anything. You really just called me into a war that I didn't need right now. Please just defend me. We're playing CK2 again. This looks like a crusade. I'm just taking the brunt of the attack, man. Ah, fuck off. You just walk somewhere and suddenly there's 50k. There's not 25k. Okay, we did it. We defended against one attack. Bulga, Bulgarian, Eastern Europe. <laughs> Just call it Eastern Europe. We got eight ducats for this. That doesn't even reimburse the men that I lost. This annexation will cost 1700 bird mana. Oh, we are pretty good in bird mana right now, so. Um, it's definitely Femboy Hooters. I'll just have to play France in the next mega campaign. Nobody is ever gonna form France, which I'm sure makes many of you happy. But like, come on, it's France. For as much as we might meme about France, France is important for this game. Khorasan is just eating. I need bigger allies. Yamelin. Yeah, Oh, we're now an empire. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cause Georgia to become Albania. Then they went from being Greater Tesso to Georgia to becoming Albania. Oh, Japan is united under Ashkaga. And they're allied to Ming, that's cursed. You know what, just go hunt for the seven cities. All of them, all six of them. Look at that. We have Byzantium, but it's not called Byzantium for once. And that is so much better than having Byzantium. <laughs> for colonizing. I don't care about Australia. Sorry, folks. I mean, can'ts. Sorry, can'ts. I don't care about Australia, mate. It's not gonna get better than that. Oi, Kant, my favorite German composer. I would like to train my accents at some point. As funny as it is that I have trash accents, I also just think it would be super fun to have good accents, you know? Like, then it's no longer ironically fun, and then it's like, ah, okay, yeah, this, this guy can make... <laughs> I hate the kind of humor that I have, man. It's just... Hey, f follow me on my Twitter, then you can get such banger tweets as this one. Actually, big brain. We can take Australia from the other way around. Once my subject's provinces. Why do you want... What are you gonna do with this one? You only have Canada. If they wanted Panama or... I don't know. Hulimapu. Then I'd be like, okay. That's a coastal province that they can reach. No. That's a landlocked province. They don't even have anything on this continent. War. What is it good for? Antioch. I called him Yemen, right. That's actually pretty good with Adal. They can deal with that. And by deal with that, I mean get eaten by them. An heir from the Safari dynasty. I'll gladly take a safari. We are family friends after all. Surely you want to give me this one province. I don't want to go to war with you. Thank you very much. What playing a mega campaign does to an MF. Armies too scared, too, too scared, too skip, skip, skip. How do you do an uvu of scared? Scared, scared, scared. Armies don't want to engage. Scare we. Scare we. Scared. Scare we makes sense, but scared? They're too scared to engage. It's like I'm gonna throw up when I say it like that. Thank you for listening to what playing a mega campaign does to an MF. Truth of Italy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Oh, my heart. What the fuck? I think that was just the truth from getting the air. That's 100 AE for two provinces? Oh, knowledge sharing to Ming, yes. Oh, Chagatai. Woo. You are becoming Russia in this game. And would you look at France? Can you see the difference? Because I can't, it's only been 200 years. Sweden is slowly gobbling up Norway. Still haven't annexed Denmark. Is it already a true religious war? That looks like a religious war. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe something in France is gonna change now. Andalusia is part of the Protestant League. That's not right. That's not right at all. That was a custom game with a mod, with a custom world. I did that, that bottom text. <laughs> Peak comedy. France exists. Getting these two as co-belligerents. And we can get Gujarat, and I guess it's time. I could tell Adal to stop their alliance with Andalusia, but they might also just ally Khorasan then. Although I suppose we could try and ally some of these nations. God, we lost 80k men in this war. That's the benefit of having proper army tech. We lost 160,000 soldiers. Oh. I just didn't think they would have 
19 army tech because I was so ahead all the time and you know like they've not really done anything. I really got cocky there. Just siege out the capital. We are running out of everything. Oh god, oh god. It's requesting that you come to the aid in the English succession war against Sweden, England. So they would get England. Oh, I don't see us taking this. But sure, I'm gonna join you. Man, you're gonna lose Scotland now. I would have liked to have... Uh, Angel, Angel Wiener or whatever it's called, you know, Franco England. I would like to have it in this mega campaign, just because it's such a cursed country. Oh my god, the webcam. Why didn't anybody tell me? This thing is actually crashing OBS. Way! We're alive again. Oh, they finally formed Scandinavia. <laughs> the state will cost us 0.12 ducats and we get 0.06. Seljux. No, I lost my peace deal. We suddenly have 10k. Let's start spamming this. The town halls. And we can probably... Yeah, we can create more stacks. Do you honestly re You honestly need me for this, huh? Hmm. I just love this button, man. I wouldn't marry it if I could. And if I called an Adal as well, Italy would join. And Andalusia would not join. Yep. Uh, let's go for a bigger war then. <laughs> because Andalusia and Italy are together in war against France, Andalusia could not come to the help of Adal. <laughs> it looks like an HRE swarm. <laughs> oh, stack wiped. Wait, you did join the war. They probably just peaced out of the war. Of the first six months of solving war. Allies can join. That does complicate things a little bit. Jesus, my heart. It's just some random OPMs again, right? Do you really need my help here? Especially while I'm still busy here. Italy is so useless. This is not Hearts of Iron Man. This is U4. This game is taking so long. I've actually grown bald. We're getting to the final 100 years. <sighs> Which means in two sessions I'm free. And then I only have to edit all of this. <laughs> Don't stop, can't stop. Let's go. You're not even that mad at me anymore. I'm very happy to see that. Let's put you on neutral. Who converted? Nah. You converted to fanboyism? Oh, brother. That sucks, I can't declare war on you. That was a smart decision. If I take them out, I'll lose Defender of the Faith level 3. Tuva! That's Tuva! Tanu, what? Nah, fuck, that doesn't- That's not right! I don't have a truce with Yemen, but they have a truce with me. Trust is still negative, but that's not gonna stop me. Increase trust. Italy! You're still at war with Brunei. Okay, Italy, you know what? I'm gonna put this on you. The chastity belt. You lot, just go hunt. Go fish! It's actually risky. Okay, never mind, they're idiots. Hollander Guinea. Okay. They call me into a war game. Wait, that work? That. Huh? How is it possible? How can I be at war with you two times? Because I know that this doesn't work. But they called me into a war and I'm already in this war against them. So I accept it, but I'm not in this war. Yes, artillery fire. I'm gonna declare war on you at some point if you don't jump on the you yes you finally love me and we can embrace enlightenment just in time then let's get Milexis from burgundy as well at least to get our armies over to this location for no particular reason <laughs> it's gonna be a big war and the looter is not happy about this because they're in debt attitude towards enemies plus one attitude towards enemies plus one attitude oh true hungry i forgot about hungry um let's upgrade you and uh, let's also build a level 8 fort here. I just hope that Italy will deal with this because I won't. Oh, that was a good siege, which means we can immediately go to the capital. Yeah, Castile does have 400k troops. Oh my god, Hungary is carpet sieging and Italy, you can deal with this. Yes, yes. <laughs> just a casual 50k Spaniards. You want to peace out? You want to peace out? You want to peace out? Yeah. <laughs> was just a shot in the dark. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We should probably be able to take this relatively safely. Oh, stack wipe even. Can I offer you something? If it's just gold, I'm completely fine with that. A little bit of sieging usually helps. There we go. White pieced. Hungry, hungry is out of the war. Which mostly just means I don't have to worry about this front and I can unseach these things. Next front! Don't really have manpower anymore. I'm perfectly fine with that. Just a tiny, tiny, small war for uh, not really a whole lot on the map, honestly. But we also just made your manpower go to zero. 
Yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> this is so cursed. Arabian missions? Sway the Pope? The Latin Empire? Shield of Christendom? Put it into the comments. Should I stay as the Seljuks or should I become the Chris No, wait. Go back to the Crusader States. Although the green would be kind of cool because then we're like, it fits with Italy. A Christian Arabia. It just dawned on me that we are technically a Christian Arabia. This is probably one of the worst things I've done. We can build it. We might as well build the Suez. We've lost 20k just in the siege. Oh, we are finally a hegemon. We have completely won EU4. <laughs> now industrialization has not spawned on us. We did not get a single... Oh, yeah, definitely gonna attack with you. Attack, attack. You should arrive first. Perfect. One day difference just for reinforcements. Not that it really matters here. Do a Suez exists now. Wow. You know what? Because they want this, I'm just gonna transfer this. I'm gonna be a good guy here. Oh my god, can you stop calling me into wars? Sure, I'll help you. I don't have a single army over here. Oh, actually, I do have an army over here. There we go. No! Half of my army is now black flagged. Aww. Life is pain. No, oh, Brunei. You're all also fighting against Brunei. The Empire Killer, huh? They did beat the Italians before and nobody ever has beaten the Italians at any point, at least in this timeline, because I control the Italians. I single-handedly financed all of Andalusia. Castile, it's been fun. It's been real. It's not been real fun because I've been here way too many times. Oh, we have the Fountain of Youth now. Just in time. What's that other... Uh restaurant from the US, not Hooters, um, right, Walmart. <laughs> I've built every single manufacturer that I can in my country. Andalusia, how can you suck so hard? I've already found like 20k ducats into you and you lost to Maghreb. I wish I lived in more enlightened times, but uh, don't you worry, we will soon live in more enlightened times in about five years. Italy has lost everything in Scotland. I don't know when that happened. Scandinavia and England are now completely allied. Hungary has expanded. Prussia is relatively big. We have also expanded into the Americas. We've created a Mexico. We've created fanboy tops with bottom texts. We've created fanboy hooters. We will play as one of these nations. Andalusia and Spain are of course, or well, Castile, are sharing many of the things that they are doing. Ming has not exploded a single time in this game, but it's also not that huge. Japan is united and they control a little bit of Korea and the Siberian frontier. Chagatai has blobbed pretty heavily and they also have a lot of puppets. Oh well, tributaries in this case. We do have a main India player, Paramaras, and Delhi is also relatively strong. And that's the game. There we go. <laughs> the final thing that's happened. The final Holy Roman Emperor, Magnus III of Angria. As for us, we have played as Jerusalem, as the Curates. We've slowly expanded into Anatolia, taken everything from Anatolia, then conquered Egypt, sadly backs stabbed the Seljuks in order to link up our land with Anatolia. Then we started colonizing and from there on we pretty much just blobbed into Arabia and the Horn, eventually defeating the Seljuks and then forming Arabia ourselves. We're still fanboyish. Fanboyism has grown considerably. It's pretty much the second strongest religion in America. The strongest religion definitely in Europe considering we are number one great power. We are an economic hegemon and we are one of the strongest nations in this game. But this will all depend on how the AI plays this because as I've mentioned we are not allowed to touch the Seljuks at this point anymore. I'm gonna see you on the other side in another era.